Let's talk about FSR and how we could add the options into our game. All right, so the only thing I have here and the only thing you really need, of course, is your world and some kind of scene in order to see the difference. I've just pulled the scene in from Sketchfab. Uh, I don't know why that car is green or why those plants possibly have a texture issue or why everything is glowing. But it is what it is. It'll work for this example. <laughs> um, so I've got my project running in at uh, 1920 by 1080. That way you guys can see a perfect 1080 image you know, given the screen size. And that's all you really need when it comes to bringing or in the scene hierarchy. So I don't need to show you that. It's just the, our sunlight, our environment, a camera, the scene, all right? So inside of our script, um, these are the recommended settings to use for ultra quality, quality, balanced, and performance. These numbers, are not recommended by me they're recommended through the uh, documentation uh, when using fsr and more importantly uh, if you come up here to project project settings you will see here under scaling 3d inside of the rendering section you have an option for mode bilinear is going to be your default if you want to use FSR, you have to use FSR 1 or 2.2. I think I saw something about 3 coming in. And these are the settings that we're using here. And I've got this set up inside of a dictionary, as you can see. Now, at the moment, I just have this set up. So when I hit enter, I'm going to change my scaling modes here. Um, and that's 0.5. So what you're seeing there at the beginning there is going between performance and ultra quality. And if I include the last quick change in there, that's just going right back to normal. All right. So in order to incorporate this, because we won't need any of this uh, when it comes to it. I just want to do that just to uh, show you guys a bit there. All right. I don't know what kind of weird things are going on there, but I went ahead and just added an option button in here. So we're just going to use a drop down and I'm using the function or not functions are the signal item selected and I've got that connected up into uh, our main script here same place our dictionary that is in and in the ready function I'm just getting basically getting all of our quality options here and adding them to our our option button all right, so when our option button gets when we select an option from it we're going to get back an index and I know I'm going in order here so zero is going to be high quality, one quality, two balance, and three performance. So I can just match the index and call get viewport dot set scaling 3D scale and pass in the value, which is going to be FSR and ultra quality for the first option when zero index. I don't know if you heard that. The cat's going crazy. Uh, and when in the index is one. We'll go with quality, index is two, we'll use balance, index three, performance. All right, so let's go ahead and run that and take a look. And you should now see a difference here as I click through. So if we go down to performance, you can see things change. Balance, quality, and high quality. All right, so there you go. There's how you can easily add in FSR as an option. Uh, for your games and you can go ahead and tweak that and if you want to turn FSR on and off um, I'll show you how to do that in code as well just in case you want to have like a t uh, checkbox or something all right so I've gone ahead and just added a checkbox here so I can click it and I'll turn it on and off and we can see here uh, I just went in and connected the signal checkbox toggled because right, because you're gonna toggle it, it's either gonna be on or off. And we can go ahead and just perform a check. So we'll say match toggle on, and it's either gonna be true or false. All right, so when it's true, we're gonna go ahead and do project settings dot set setting. And as a string, we'll have rendering slash scaling underscore 3D slash mode. And the second argument, 
I'm going to pass in two. Because I believe that is FSR 2. Yes, that is FSR 2. And with when it goes to false, we can go ahead and just set it to zero for bilinear if you wanted to. Um... Alright, and when we set it to false, we're also going to need to set the 3D viewport scale here as well. And instead of passing in a number, we'll just set it to 1, because 1 is going to be the full resolution. Now, false, of course, we're basically going to be disabling FSR completely with this. Now, we're probably fine just turning uh, 1 setting the scale to one but just to be safe i'm going to use both of them and when i run this all right i've gone ahead and added that so now if i check that on fsr2 and if i uncheck it our mode goes to bilinear all right that's it take care obviously it's a good one this was a weird one there are some weird issues and we'll see you next time